Rolling Stone somehow concluded that there were 193 singers with better pipes than Kelly Clarkson in their greatest singers of all time list last year, it shouldn't be surprised then that Kelly did not make Billboard's top 25 list of the greatest pop stars of the 21st century. And of course, it's an honor to be an honorable mention, and Kelly's in pretty impressive company. Billie Eilish, Chris Brown, Maroon 5, Jennifer Lopez, Lana Del Rey, Dua Lipa, Pink. You can make an argument for any of those artists making it into the top 25. Um, and yeah, these kind of things, you go blue in the face debating your favorite. But Billboard is revealing this in a very unique way. So they revealed the list of honorable mentions. This seems like they're going to reveal the top 25 list one by one every few days. So they've announced that Katy Perry is at number 25 and Ed Sheeran is at number 24. Now, I'm not sure if I think that Kelly Clarkson is the most you know, ridiculous snub from this list. But the thing that irked me was the explanation that Billboard gave as to why she didn't make the top 25. So they write, her time as a hit-making pop star was really limited to her first 10 years after Idol. So going by Billboard's words, if that's Kelly's disqualifier, then Katy Perry's six-year run disqualifies her, but she's at number 25. From I Kissed a Girl to Dark Horse is actually only a five and a half year period. And look, I'm not saying that Katy Perry doesn't deserve to be on this list. I'm just going by what Billboard's criteria apparently was. And on top of that, going off of Billboard's own words that they write about Kelly, her hit-making days weren't over after a decade. Now they start with American Idol as the starting point, of course, which is in 2002, and a moment like this going number one. A moment like this. So the decade would be 2002 to 2012, right? Then she'd be over after 2012. Well, Billboard writes, She continued to make her mark throughout the years, including with the evergreen modern Christmas classic Under the Tree in 2013. And it's been a hit every year <laughs> on the charts since then. Last year, reaching its highest peak yet at number 11. I'm also going to give some oxygen to another 2013 release. Catch my breath, Catch my breath stayed on the Billboard Hot 100 chart for six months and peaked at number 19. Then the lead single for her seventh studio album in 2015 certainly showed that Kelly still had some pop life in her. This is my heartbeat song and I'm gonna play it. And then Billboard describes the third single from that album as the surprise number eight peaking mega ballad piece by piece in 2016. But piece by piece he collected me up. So yeah, by your own account, we're up to 14 years <laughs> of making hits. Just walk away. And just for a little bonus, while Katie's last two albums have been panned, the quality of Kelly's music hasn't dropped off. After being the first artist to win the best pop vocal album category twice at the Grammys, Kelly holds the record for the most nominations in the category with six. Her fifth was for Meaning of Life in 2017. Like a choir shout, say Which I think is her best album. And her sixth nom for Chemistry earlier this year. Someone's gonna show you how hard can be you. And just another bonus, Kelly's in people's feeds like on the daily? Well, let's say, you know, at least once a week. She goes viral for slaying a pop song on the Kelly Clarkson show in Kellyoki, Often improving on the original. Improving to be the pop star that can sing anything live. What else do you need, Billboard? And now it's clear to me that everything you see ain't always what it seems. And look, I'm not saying that Kelly Clarkson is the greatest pop star ever, but I mean, it just seems to be constantly that Kelly Clarkson, her accomplishments are dismissed or not um, acknowledged. But yeah, what do you think of Kelly not making Billboard's list of the top 25 greatest pop stars of the 21st century? I'll say it, Kelly. This list sucks without you. 